Elton John's 1977 band comprised of three main members, vocalist and pianist Elton John, bass guitarist Dee Murray, and drummer Nigel Olsen. Between 1975 and 1977, the trio recorded several albums and singles, becoming a popular musical act. The three musicians of Elton John's 1977 band did not remain the original lineup for long, by 1979 two of the members had been replaced. Despite the changes in personnel, Elton John retained the same level of high-energy performance and emotive ballads in his live shows. Elton John's 1977 band wrote and performed an extensive range of classic hits, including, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and We All Fall In Love Sometimes. Dee Murray provided the bass guitar accompaniments to the band's musical arrangements, while also contributing backing vocals. Olsen's rhythmic stylings on the drums helped John's band to achieve its desired sound, with his sensitive and melodic phrases. Elton John was often praised for his dynamic lead vocals, strong piano playing, and innovative songwriter. His band made sure that his performances were well-spaced and intense, and with their help, he had proved his worth as a songwriter. Though their tenure was short, Elton John's 1977 band was known as one of the greats in its genre, a classic which carries significant weight to this day. The band founded their sound on progressive rock, intertwining elements of folk and jazz into their impressive ensemble sound. From Billy Joel to the Carpenters, Elton John's 1977 band had a direct and significant influence on emerging sub-genres. In addition to the composing and songwriter duties of the band, John and Murray also shared production duties. Murray provided the signature groove of the band, from the opening bars of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road to the end of Saturday Night. Elton John was supported vocally by Murray and Olsen, both of whom added an additional layer of harmonies to the arrangements. Elton John's 1977 band delivered an exciting, groove-filled live show to accompany their best-loved tracks, bringing the music to life. To this day, the legendary records created by the band are staples in classic rock collections across the world. Both Murray and Olsen provided an equal level of input to John's band, with the trio's cumulative talent contributing to its success. This powerful combination of musicians worked together from 1975 to 1977, and during that time produced some of the most beloved music of its time. The band's early recordings provided solid foundations for Elton John's subsequent career, bringing the singer-songwriter to a bigger audience. By 1976, Elton John's 1977 band had solidified its success with several hits, bringing the band to the top of the charts. By the time the band disbanded in 1977, it had achieved considerable success with a string of popular albums and singles. Each of the members of Elton John's 1977 band was an integral part of the whole, displaying impressive musical creativity and versatility. John's influence on Murray and Olsen was profound, with the trio particularly exploring the artful mix of delicacy and strength in their ballads. The group's 1977 record, Candy and the Curls, 
proved to be their greatest success, selling millions of copies worldwide.